Hello Python students. We're going to continue our discussions about file I.O. I've got a file here with some Halloween jokes with the punch lines not included. Uh, what is the ghost's favorite dessert? Your answer here. Why didn't the monster eat the crazy person? Your answer here. And what if I thought of another really great Halloween joke and I wanted to add on to this file and put my new joke. Well, anytime we're opening a file, to do any reading or writing or even appending, we're going to use the open command, the name of the file, and then the file mode. How do we want to open this file? And I'm going to open it for appending. And I want to save a pointer to that file after I open it. So once I've got that pointer, I can write to the file and I can write my new joke. Let's say, why is a skeleton so mean? And let me match my quotes there. And I wrote 26 bytes or 26 characters. And let's write the punchline. Um, he doesn't have a heart. And notice there's going to be a problem here. If I had single quotes around the string and a single quote in the center, I could fix that one of two ways. I could escape that quote in the center, or I could change the single quotes on the outside to double quotes. And I forgot to do this on the last line, but I'm going to go ahead and put a new line character here at the end so we go to the next line. And anytime you're done with a file, reading or writing or appending, make sure you remember to close it. So let's take a look at the file contents now, and I see my new joke. It would be nice if I had remembered a new line character here, but this will work for the video. So I've got my three jokes. And normally if you open a file for reading, you start at the beginning of that file. But there is a way to read a file and jump around in the file and read certain parts of it that you want to read. So let's open that file again for reading. And this time I'm going to use a command called fseek. And instead of just starting at the beginning and reading bytes or lines from the beginning of the file, I want to jump ahead five characters. Let me open up the file so I remember what's going to be at five characters into the file. So seek five characters. We'll jump ahead five characters. And now if I go ahead and read the rest of that line, then it looks like I've jumped right to here and I'm reading the rest of the line. We could also F seek back to zero, back to the beginning of the file. And we could just read four bytes and just get the word what. We could use fseek and jump to uh, 37 bytes in. And that happens to be the length of the, the first line plus the new line character. So this would read that second line of the file, your answer here. So um, fseek won't allow us to change the file and put new answers in, but it will allow us to read different parts in the, of the file in whatever order we want. So I'm going to close that. Now how do I actually insert my answers in here once I come up with the answers to these Halloween riddles? Well, one solution, and probably the best solution, is to go ahead and open the file for reading and read in all of the lines of the file and store them in a list. And as we know, a list is uh, mutable or something that we can change. So I'm going to do f.readlines read lines and notice that I've got an S at the end read line singular we just read one line with an S it'll read all of the lines and I can take a look at all of those lines there and now that I've got a list I can actually make changes so zero would be the first element or the joke and one would be my answer so I could make a change here what is the ghost's favorite dessert and I could say well I happen to know it it is ice cream and I'll make a change and that hasn't changed the file yet but it has changed this variable lines so if I look at the file there's not going to be any changes yet um, in fact, I've only got the file open for reading, so I can't make any changes that way. I'm going to close the file and reopen it for writing. And when I do this, when I open it with a W, it empties out that file. But that's okay, because I still have the contents of the file stored in the variable lines. So I could do an f.write, and I can write lines to the file. 
oops, let's see. Um, sorry, um, f dot write lines and then pass the lines in. So just like read lines, we're gonna write all of the lines at once and pass in a list of strings. And it's gonna like that a lot better. And then I can close the file and now I see ice cream, my answer. So I could have plugged in my, my answer for the second joke too, but I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so hopefully you understand a little more about file IO.